This was our last duel of the season and we had to end off on a high note going into the postseason. Well, my brother is currently wrestling at state. So he's actually up right now. My mom is gonna live stream on Facebook. I'm watching on track because I have a wrestling duel versus Mankato today. That's why, unfortunately, I'm not in Madison. Of course, I'd be there otherwise, but I gotta focus up, watch Carter wrestle here. Shout out to my mom for going live. Looks like, oh, Carter got the first takedown. Let's go. There's my dad over there. Carter's up three to one in the second period. But, oh my gosh, she put him on his back. He put him on his back. Let's go, boys. He's on to the next round. Into the blood rounds. Check. Check. All right, boys. We in the room. We got Mankato tonight. Um, unfortunately, Carter actually just lost um, in the blood rounds, blood rounds, um, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, he had, he had a good run, of course. He just he made state, of course, if you saw the last video. But, um, you know, we have a job to do here today, and that's to beat Mankato to, of course, win so and dominate. Only about two and a half over here. Um, I know I'm gonna sweat a lot. I know I got so much water in my system, but we're gonna go win this ball ball game and head on with the day. Sweaty boys. Fuck it. <laughs> I hate doing this one. I got like some team rich. Watch it. Come here. Come here in the vlog. Um, also, this guy doesn't give me towels to shower. Hey, gotta turn in a towel to get a towel. That's true. Hey, we can all do better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today, the only things I consume for calories are I had protein oatmeal from Kodiak and then I had a rise. Shout out to Rise. Basically, because I literally drank seven pounds of liquids, I believe. No, okay, okay, I didn't drink seven pounds of liquids, but I was seven pounds over yesterday when I went to bed. My body was just so dehydrated for some reason and I need to get that in me. And today, you know, I came in here this morning, I didn't even vlog it, but earlier this morning, I went on the bike, I ran a little bit, and I, I feel fresh. We did some contrasting with the cold tub. Of course, coming from St. Cloud's loss last video, if you guys saw we lost as a team, first time we lost in a while, I lost. Let's bounce back. That's the, that's the theme. Theme of today is bouncing back. Just believing that is it are in our destiny to win. And at this time, shout out to Wrestling Mindset, but I, I heard that he said, H-E-W, had enough wrestling. Wrestlers these times of years are looking for the spring, the summer. They're done cutting weight. They had enough wrestling. This is when you need to be ultra focused, ultra disciplined. That's where we fall in. That's where we... That's why we are different. We want to keep wrestling. We're always getting better and we're always aiming for the top. Here we go, baby. Mankato duel. Let's get it. It is now game time. Round one. DJ Dabs versus the Oscar. And for your Rangers, number three ranked, Kaden Henschel. Wrestling at 149 pounds for the Mavericks.
circle, circle. Finish team. Oh boy, man, team. And for your Rangers, number three ranked, Kaden Henschel. that does the molding I guess. Son? Yeah, I don't get how you don't weigh that much. Your score is 0-0 zero, zero after the first. Mavericks with choice. Anderson defers. Henschel chooses down. Oh boy. Actually with the escape. He's in charge. Five shots right now. This kid is just sitting out of something. There it is. Watch that. He's putting himself there. He's putting himself there. Knees five. to be there for that, huh? Caleb Delibrew. He just made the state finals. <laughs> We're going to the call center, Crosby. Wait, actually? No. You're here for Luxembourg's downfall, bro. Hey. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, I hey. cut it, cut it. Hey, you slide on the YouTube, we hook you up. Let's go. Look at Crosby's Real diamonds. Look at, look at Crosby's drip. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Bad boy, shoot! Yes. Come on. Come on. Finish that. No, no. Up two! Up! Oh, 
that he put the rider on you as a sophomore. But he's ranked in the country, isn't he? No, he wasn't. He wasn't last year. Wait, after after this summer, he took second. He took second at Fargo. Actually, Wait, Oh, Reese was yapping at me in Walmart there. I was pissing me off. We all are yapping. Yeah, but Reese doesn't yap a lot, and then when he starts yapping, it's like, dude, shut up. It's a little corny yet, but. What? When they do that, when people do that. When they put themselves? Yeah, they do that. pounds for your Ranger, number seven rank, Reese Horacek. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And seven pounds by technical ball for your Rangers. Nice, Ray. Stay in, Ray. We're circling. Stay in, Ray. Nice. Good. You're a winner by sudden victory at heavyweight. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thanks, Gabe. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I cannot believe it. That was our last wrestling duel of my second to last year of wrestling. All in all, of course, the duel went good. We pretty much dominated them. We won eight over 10 matches. The guy I wrestled actually, so he's actually pretty good. Um, he wasn't necessarily like ranked. I think on some things he's ranked like 16 if they go that high, but nonetheless, he was a kid that actually beat the St. Cloud kid in a previous week. Of course, that's the person who I lost to recently. So it's just kind of good to avenge myself there a little bit, but really in that match, it was just, it was a little bit frustrating. Of course, I did a lot of the right things. I was on the attack more than him. I think I was a lot better in the hand fight. It's just, he just kept trying to slow me down basically the entire match. You know, that's the stance that guys take when they face me now is literally, it's like both hands on the mat in almost just like alignment stance where I can't, they're so low. And of course they're only wrestling like that because of me, because they know they're going to get blast doubled or something into next week. But we have to wrestle in our positions. And, you know, we got to that single there where we didn't finish. And, you know, he kind of got onto that low single, but we scrambled out of there and scored on our own. There are still more levels that I can tap into. I know that for a fact because we still could gas out our lungs completely in that match and especially knowing that people can't take me down and especially in that first period, it is absolutely crucial for me to get that first takedown because it's almost just like insurance for the rest of the match. Not saying I can take it easy, but I think going into that mindset of really get that first takedown right off the bat in the first period, then we can go build and build and build and guys will get frustrated. Emotions are high at regionals and that's our plan to reach the top of the podium this coming week. And yes, I am referring to Super Regional. So just a little background on Super Regionals. Last year, I actually won the Super Region. Top three of those guys make it to Nationals. Now, basically nothing in the past, nothing mattered. The seeds are gonna be set. I assume I'll be, you know, one of the top seeds, but everyone's good. Everyone's out for blood. Everyone's there to make Nationals. We have to go into every match 
believing that it, it is in our destiny to win. That really, you have to take it from them. This is where we have to be selfish. You have to be, you know, sometimes you have to be a jerk out there. And not only do you just have to accomplish your dreams for yourself, but you have to be a dream killer. You have to be able to look that other guy across from you and take it from him. That's what we're going to have to do. There's one goal and there's one goal in mind. That's to be a national champion. And in order for that to happen, we're making it through regionals. We're getting top three. We're staying atop that podium as champ. Regardless, you guys are here for the journey and I appreciate all of your support. It truly does mean the world to me. And things like this can get overwhelming, but I'll bring up a little quote that's actually can be very useful, uh, especially to myself. It's useful, but also to you guys as well. So this is from the Bible, but it's Philippians 4, 6, and it reads, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And that is something I've actually been doing. I've been praying so much throughout the day, whether that's just being praying like for each time I get in the car for a safe ride or, you know, of course, before every meal or let's say if I'm editing this video, if you can do everything for the glory of God, that's kind of where I want to guide my life is to, you know, be like Jesus. There's so much evil in this world. There's so much distraction. There's so much deceiving. But if we can rely back on God's word, we can be better children of God leading us in a better direction. But that is going to end up the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Shout out to my patrons supporting me over on there and we'll see you guys next video